97, TJ, is exactly what the doctor ordered for Ohio State's top-ranked Colin Moore taking the mat for the Buckeyes. Yeah, he needs to come in and do his thing because uh, the Buckeyes need um, major points here in the next couple of matches to be in this thing. 7 and 0 oh is Colin Moore. And he'll wrestle Stanley Smeltzer for Virginia Tech. And in dual meet wrestling, it's what makes it so fun is everybody's effort plays into that final equation. If you're Colin Moore, you need five, you need six. If you're Smeltzer, go out and fight and minimize the damage as best you can. Easier said than done against a guy like Colin Moore, three-time All-American, an NCAA finalist. Last year in Pittsburgh, falling to Bo Nickel. Good luck, they said. Colin Moore, a two-time Big Ten champion. And this guy just puts on the hard hat, grabs the lunch bucket, and goes to work. He can grind with the best of them. Start here. Started out with that patented little uh, fireman's carry. Comes back, tacks the hip. Able to clear that front headlock from Smeltzer. Thanks. One of the leaders on this Smart. team, Colin Moore for Ohio State. A oh, good shot there from Moore. Stay in, stay in. Colin, one of those guys just really lets his actions do the talking. Pretty quiet guy. Talks when he has to. Respected. I mean, he learned from the likes of Snyder and Tomasello, Jordan. And now his turn in that leadership position. Norway High School's first ever state champ. And he was the uh, league soccer uh, most valuable player in his soccer league, and I asked him if he, you know, played football. He was a kicker, but he just he just put on the uniform on Friday night, he said, and kicked. It was neat because uh, he was a soccer player that liked to hang out with his friends who played football. He's been so close three years straight. Uh, sophomore year, had some health problems, but he's been a... Uh, the tunnel's narrowing, as we've talked about seniors. The time is now, and he's very focused. But, you, you know, I'll tell you, somebody else is focused here is Stanley Smeltzer in knowing what is expected of him, and that is to battle. And he's been battling, but here comes more with that takedown. He went 90 seconds, did the Hokie before getting taken down. Moore gives the escape, 2-1. to one. It takes a lot of takedowns and um, and letting them up to get anything like a technical fall that um, I'd like to get. More single leg now going to put Smeltzer on a hip, but good fight there from Smeltzer on the edge. That's able to exactly square his right. hips up back to the center with 101 remaining in the first period. I will say this, Tony Roby has to be super impressed with the fight he has seen from his team. Yeah, this is Smelt Smeltzer, a redshirt sophomore. He just got his first ever win versus Missouri um, a couple of weeks ago in that dual meet. And, and so, I mean, it's his first time out in the uh, limelight as well. Smeltzer hit with his first stall warning. Wasn't highly recruited, another Virginia kid. Second takedown for Moore. Half a minute remaining here in the first, now four to one. Coach Roby saying what smells who just needs experience, but a guy they feel they can coach up as the season progresses. This is important for both wrestlers right here. I mean, you only got two periods left after this, one third of the way done. So Colin Moore says, yeah, I let him up so I can take him down. And he gets to two. Yep, because he's behind the elbow, kept his foot in. Real good Matt Savvy there. And look at this. Smeltzer no near wins getting an escape. Nope. State Farm State of Success is Colin Moore. 90 victories in his career. See that winning percentage? Scores a lot of points. 32 major decisions. Green goes down. Great career for Colin Moore, who looked to become a four-time All-American and national Back. champ. Cover. And they need a lot of points right here. So the scoring machine better be on his game. So far, he has been. But we've also seen Smelter, like you said. It was 90 seconds before Moore was able to score the first time. So can he wear him down? Can he can continue to score? Because, I mean, he's really wanting to get at least five points. And that's going to take a lot of effort right here. A situation that 
Colin Moore outmatching Smeltzer. When we talk about five points, that means five points for the team, a 15-point spread, a technical fall. If you get between eight and 15, it's a four points for the team instead of the three. And Colin Moore is on the hunt right now. Yeah, he's really pouring it on now. And he needs to because these points don't come easy, even though he's, uh, he's making it look easy, but it's two for one, it's two for one, it's two for one. That's why some people think the takedown should be three points, you know? But, uh, it's not. And now you're halfway through, well, more than halfway through the uh, match right here. Only three minutes left. A minute here, three minutes, or two minutes in the third period. And really what he'd be looking for is two more. 11 to four is the score. Riding time and on factor. Here with 40 seconds left in the second period. Two green. All right, right here, it's the same thing. 35 seconds left. You know, situation right here, do you keep him down, look for a turn? Well, he's, make, he's made that decision right now. Because then you'll take riding time over a minute. Come on, he's got to move down there. Although he would have corralled riding time in the end anyways, I'm sure, with more takedowns. And there's one, and that'll help the uh, cause for the Buckeye there. One stalling, that was the second call. So now all of a sudden you're out by 10. Riding time, 11, and you've got a net four. You've got a net four in this last. Joyce goes to Smeltzer, takes a quick look at his corner. And I'll, bet, I'll, bet he just, I'll bet he just gives him the one. I mean, he probably isn't even going to, uh, uh, we'll see what he does here. Maybe try for a tilt first, or just I get right to your offense. Yeah. On your feet. Yep, that's what he's going to do. Going to go right through the offense, like keeping his hands on him. I like what he did there. That's a great point you made there, TJ. He just didn't cut him. He got to a two-on-one. There, duck under. Look at that. Executing at his best when he's tired. This guy is never fears being tired. And that's the mark of a real winner. And he's got both ankles there. He's putting it on now. Going to let him up again. Colin Moore looking for a tech fall here at 197. And it's and this is not an easy thing to do when it's just takedowns. Driving it across, two more. He can get a tilt here. I believe he got one swipe. Yep, and so he's got to get two more takedowns if he doesn't get back points. He's got a minute 18 to work with. Two takedowns. And the effort he's putting forth is huge. I mean, the hard pumping, but this is why he's trusting his training. I don't think we'll see this, TJ, but... Yeah, riding time is pretty much locked up. Yeah, he'll go to work on his feet. Gives that optional start. And, and Smeltzer has presented himself, but this is just a relentless, relentless attack by Moore, knowing what his team needs. And... So he's going to let him up one more time. A takedown here. Be tech. With tech. Would uh, Be 24 end the nine. match and give the team five points. And a little go around and a return. There you have it. 24 to nine. Colin Moore taking care of business. Man, that was an effort. Yes, it was. He did what he needed to do for this team. That's five for Ohio State. Now 18-12 with two matches remaining.